Folks, day five of the World Weightlifting Championships is over and there was some crazy action between the men's 77 kilo A session where there are world record attempts and the women's 69 kilo D session where there are CrossFit champs, we had everything covered. The men's 77 kilo weight class is stacked. There's a ton of competition and even though a lot of people just kind of expected Lou to come in and destroy every record, he didn't really deliver on that. He had a 175 kilo snatch, successful, looked beautiful, and that's only one kilo underneath his world record. Check it out. After that 175 snatch, he came back for a 177, which would have been a one kilo world record, but he just couldn't quite keep his elbows locked. See for yourself. After such a strong showing on the snatch, Lu Xiaojun just had to do one thing to lock in first place, make his opening clean and jerk. But because of a slight change in the start list, he had to go a little bit earlier than expected and it seemed like that had a huge effect on his ability to land his lifts. He actually went zero for three, which means that Lu Xiaojun bombed out on a weight that we have seen him make in competition dozens of times, including in the training hall just a couple days ago. Check out all three of his misses at 201. With Lou bombed out, the field was wide open, allowing North Korean lifter Kim Kwang Song to jump in with a 201 clean and jerk, the same weight that Lou could not make, and lock in a podium position. On top of that, fan favorite Mohamed Ehab from Egypt, he came in, hit a 201 clean and jerk, and had the greatest celebration I have ever seen. Watch this. So that men's 77A session was pretty out of control, wild ride, lots of ups and downs. But if that's not quite your bag, we also saw some really rad CrossFit Games champions competing in the women's 69 kilo D session. 2015 CrossFit Games champion Katrin Davidsdottir was representing her home country of Iceland in the women's 69 kilo D session. And she went 84-94 to finish with a 178 total. Check out her best lifts. But we didn't just have one CrossFit Games champion, we had two CrossFit Games champions. Annie Thor's daughter, who won in 2011-2012, was also representing her home country of Iceland in the women's 69 kilo D session. She went 88-108, finished 6 for 6, and had some great lifts. Check out her best ones.
As always, folks, Arm and Hammer here with Flow Elite. I am right here live at the IWF Weightlifting World Championships. And it has been a pretty crazy week so far. Hopefully you've been keeping up with all of our recaps, but if you haven't, be sure to go to flowelite.com, facebook.com slash flowelite, at flowelite on Instagram, or at flow underscore elite on Twitter. Catch up with all that we've got going on, and make sure to pay attention coming up because we are gonna continue the best coverage in the world of the World Weightlifting Championships.